Guys, it is the big day for Lyle Boone, the winner of the red and white first gen, finally able to come out and get that truck. A lot going on, guys. A lot of stuff happening. You guys might also like to know that 20X entries are back to win that truck, and uh, those end along with the giveaway. The entire giveaway ends with that deal on June 4th, which is in just five days. So if you haven't done so yet, go to lmpgear.com. There's a link in the description below. Buy any of the hats, shop shirts, t-shirts, hoodies, keychains, laners, anything that we have on the store, and every $5 you spend on that gear will get you 20 entries towards winning that truck plus $5,000 cash. But speaking of $5,000 cash, what we're about to do is get uh, Lyle Boone some cash. So right here we have $5,000 cash for the winner of the first gen. And on top of that, remember when you win this truck, you also get $5,000 cash with the truck. So think about that. You can keep the truck, sell the truck, trade the truck, whatever you want to do. Obviously, our trucks are going to be paid in full. There are no loans on these trucks that we give away. You do not transfer over a loan or take over payments. All you're responsible for is your registration, taxes, insurance, just all the stuff that comes with purchasing a vehicle except for the purchase price of the vehicle. So this is Lyle's truck that he just won the 1989 W350 first gen. This thing is just a beaut. It's got some minor flaws, some minor imperfections. It's 32 years old, you know, but uh, it's a freaking beaut. Yep, here's the flashing lights. Yep, you just go right and you just go what? straight. Right and go straight. Yep. Alrighty. And you'll probably go straight for I don't know, mile and a half at the most. My house would be on the left side. House is on the left side. And my, Alrighty. My cars will be parked out in front of the house, and then you'll see that little white parts truck first gen sitting right by the road on this little stretch of gravel. We'll be right up here on your left side. Hopefully, I don't have to give you a call because I get lost in here. <laughs> no, I'm glad we got that worked out. I should see you any any second now. Good to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you. What do you think about your truck sitting over there? It's a beautiful truck. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. Let's go check it out. His first drive in the new first gen. Who went for the first drive in his first gen? You said this is the first DC you've ever owned? Very first. Everything you ever hoped for. Even better. That's what we like to hear. So before they go, we gotta go for riding the Hellcat. So we're gonna get this. Start it up, take it for riding this thing. I see a lot of smiling going on. <laughs> so we went for a ride in the Hellcat, you went for a ride in the first gen, and how did you win this truck? I purchased the $10 keychain. <laughs> the most popular keychain we ever sold, the military tan, loud and proud with the American flag keychain. So you spent a total of, you said $12.95, that was shipping, everything. $12.95, shipping, cost of the keychain everything that got me this beautiful truck so it just goes to show you do not need to spend two three four hundred dollars to win a truck isn't that he's proof right here right here ten the last guy 12 bucks total yeah the last guy bought a hat the guy before that i think just bought a t-shirt he just bought a keychain and he just got a truck and a fat sack of cash and he's going home with it there he goes Lyle came and picked up his truck and his $5,000 of cash and it was an awesome time hanging out with him, his buddy, his lady, and uh, just having a good time. Just talking, chatting. We went for a ride in the Hellcat. I couldn't get that on video though. I need to get another GoPro. I literally have one. Lost somehow. Bought a new one. Didn't even get to use it and it disappeared within a week. And I'm like, what the heck? So I need to buy another GoPro. I really do for the car video stuff. Anyways, just a really good time. Had a lot of fun. We got to run right now. I've got to upload some video stuff. Unfortunately, I can't do it at my own house. And then we'll pick this video back up maybe later today, but possibly tomorrow. So it is the next day. We're actually at the feed mill right now. We just picked up 2,000 pounds of hog feed. And it's not all for my hogs. Half of it's for my buddy Jeshua. He's got four of them, so he's gonna need quite a bit of this. It's a little bit cheaper when you buy it in bulk, so that's what we did. Truck's pretty loaded down though, so I'm gonna show you what it looks like when we get back to the house, because it's, uh, it's squatting pretty good. I mean, some of you might not wanna see this, but then again, a lot of you might wanna see this. This is a pallet of hog feed, 2,000 pounds, and uh, it's pretty heavy. I mean, the truck's rated for it, or it's rated for like 2,196 or, I don't know what it was, but it's it's right around the 2,000 pound mark is the technical in the bed payload. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna get this unloaded, 
and uh, get this put back into the bins where it's got to go. And then Jeshua should be here soon. I'm going to be selling, well not me, I'm going to be meeting up with somebody to sell my wife's wheels and tires for her. Came off of that truck, which we should have a winner for by the time you see this video if you've checked out her channel. Today is the day we also say goodbye to that first gen. So let's see if we can get that thing loaded up on our car hauler and get it hauled out of here. Here's somebody that hauls a lot of trailers. This easy towing life could be you right here. Back it right on up and you're good. The truck is running and all good to go. I actually let it run for about 15-20 minutes while I went and grabbed a new hitch because I left my other hitch in the six speed which is getting leather interior put in. So I had to go buy a new one. I bought a Reese two and a half inch ball. It's supposed to be rated for 13,000 pound, you know, whatever on the hitch itself. But anyway, so we're gonna get the ramps pulled out. Then we're gonna get this part truck loaded up and hopefully have a smooth sailing trip up to drop it off at Devin's place. However, I don't think he's gonna be there. So we're just gonna have to kind of drop it off and leave. Well, we've got the truck loaded down, strapped down, and <laughs> she looks like she's squatting like crazy, which is just nuts. But uh, we've hauled a lot heavier than this, so uh, it's, it's definitely not too much weight. The only thing I will say is I feel like the truck might have been pulled forward maybe like 14 inches further forward than I would have liked. I just figured since it was a little 318 or 360 gasser, regular cap truck that it you know wouldn't be that big of a deal but that weight even just 14 inches for, farther than normal it puts a lot more weight on that rear end but uh we should be fine we're only going about 30 minutes so we're gonna go and drop this thing off it really does just impress me every time i actually hook up a trailer to this truck and pull with it how good these trucks tow and just like it totally reminds you uh duh these aren't just uh drive and look good on wheels and tires and some horsepower like these trucks are made to work and they drive so much better with a lot of weight behind them like this trucks i don't know how much that little gas truck weighs i mean let's just say 4500 to 5000 pounds right with let's say a 1500 to 2000 pound every bit of 2000 pound let's say trailer maybe more and the truck just it's just like it's just so smooth. It's like I don't know. It's like a yacht on the pavement, like with the weight with the weight behind it. It's just crazy. But uh, but yeah. So we've got about 35. Well, no, 40, 41 minutes left to go. I thought it was a lot closer than it is. I forgot we moved pretty far from him. <laughs> so we've got about 40 minutes to go, and then the uh, truck will be dropped off at its new owner. Unfortunately, I didn't get any uh, video of unloading the truck just because I was trying to get the truck unloaded so I could get it out of the way so that people could come and go out of the drive, but uh, it's gone. The gas parts truck first gen is gone. We may not ever see it again. Actually, we probably will see it again because Devin still does all my lifts and tent and stuff, so we're probably going to see him actually fairly soon. I'm really curious as to what he's going to do with that truck because I looked at that truck and I'm like, I mean, if you really wanted to, you could do something with it because the frame, axles, engine, transmission, all this stuff works great, although I don't think he's keeping the engine or the transmission in it, but he wanted the truck as a sleeper build, so I'm like, okay, man, what do you got? He's like, I'll give you a Matthews bow. I'm like, deal, let's do it. I got another bow that I don't need, but I thought those are pretty cool, so I'll take another one, and I got it out of my driveway, which is the most important thing. We unloaded the truck and trailer and all that stuff, so we're all, uh, all good to go. This is what I traded the parts truck for, and it's actually a Matthew Z7. It's like that, the black edition, everything's black on it. Looks like it's hardly ever been shot, so when you see this, Devin, it's actually a pretty good trade. I don't think he's hardly ever shot the bow, but I pretty much just traded for the bow and some cash, because for the parts truck, honestly, I really didn't even know what I was going to be able to get out of the parts truck, just because 
you know, I took all the good parts. I don't know if he's gonna keep the engine and put in something else in the trans. I'm not sure, but regardless, you know, for what we traded, um, engine and transmission running great if you wanted to sell that, you know. I think he's gonna do an LS swap, he said, and then make it like a super cool sleeper truck. So that's his goal with it. So hopefully we see it again because that would actually be really sick. In terms of this truck, if you guys are wanting to enter to win this truck, remember 20X entries are here and your last few days are here too. So if you haven't done so yet, hit the link in the description below. Go to lmpgear.com because you could take home this truck plus $5,000 cash, and you don't want to miss out on that opportunity. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video.